Hello, yeah, it's Robin. It's the Doku guy again with yet another tutorial. This is number 24 and it's part B of Hidden Pairs. You know, it's amazing when you've got a difficult puzzle, you've gone through all the different steps and finally you realize you've got to put in all the possible numbers. Now what do you do? Well, here's one of the tricks you can look for and that is matching pairs. So, let's see what I mean. Have a look here. Here we have um, a block, and in it we have an 8 and a 6, and all the other cells have got possible numbers. Now I'm only talking about this block, and this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to go through this block, and we're going to check to see if there's any one of those small numbers is repeated twice, or is repeated. So, the ones, well, there's lots of ones. Twos. There's only two twos. There's a two here and a two here. That's important to remember. I'll show you later. Threes. There's lots of threes. Fours. There's lots of fours. Fives. There's lots of fives. Sixes. It's already there. Sevens. There's lots of sevens. Eight. We've already got. Nines. Oh, here's something. Have a look at this cell and this cell. You only have a nine that will go in that one and that one. Now, here comes the important part. If a 2 can only go there and there, and a 9 can only go there and there, you're going to have what we call a hidden matching pair. And what that means is that if the 2 and the 9 have to be in these, this cell or this cell, you can get rid of or eliminate, rub out, whichever you prefer, the numbers that don't apply. And what are they? Well, here's a 9. Well, let's see now. Well, we've got a one here, we'll go with it, we'll work out one, that can go. Uh, in this block, and this block, we'll have, uh, we have a three here, that can go. Uh, and we can get rid of the five, and what are you left with? You're left with a, well, you can get rid of that seven up there too. Okay. Now you're left with a two nine, two nine, matching pair. See how it works? Now. Let's forget this block. We're going to go across to this block. Here is something that I think is pretty amazing because you know what? My sweetheart Catherine found this. It's not a 3x3, three three, but it's a 4x4. Four four. What does that mean? Let me show you. In this block, there's a 1, 2, 5, and a 9. 1, 2, 3, that's 4 numbers. And they can only fit in this cell, this cell, this cell, or this cell. We don't know where they would fit, but somewhere or other, those four numbers are going to fit either there, 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 or there. Now what are we left with? We're left with two cells, here and here. Well, if you look really closely, similar to what we had up here, the four only goes there and there. can only go in two places. The six can only go there or there. That means we can eliminate, rub out, or cross out the f any of these numbers in the 4x4 four four that are in these two cells. So I can get rid of the 5, because we know that that's going to be in one of these cells here. And I can get rid of, here I can get rid of the 1, because we know that the 1 is going to be in one of these four cells. And you're left with a matching 4-6, four, 4-6 six, four, six pair. So that's it for this tutorial. Have fun looking for matching pairs that are hidden. Bye for now.